Welcome back. We are back to the, this segment, Youth and Politics. And as I promised you, we are going to talk about politics and pertaining young people in specific, the young people who want to vie in various political posts. And uh, you hear people saying that elections this year is going to be about the youth. They're saying so because they're saying it's about the youth, as in the older people vying so that they can help the youth. So the narrative or the question is, can the youth vie for themselves, get those leadership positions, and then help themselves like directly youths for youths or youths helping other youths or youths getting to top positions and which positions should uh, youths get to. Today I am with, in studio with some two exciting people. Two people, very young people who are not going for MCS, not going for MP, not going for women rep, but going for the top county seats and that is senatorial seat and gubernatorial seat, believe you me. And not anywhere, one Nairobi and one Migori. It means one is going to replace, if they win, replace Senator Sakaja, and the other is going to uh, replace Governor Obado. And these two young people are here with me. How are you guys? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Oh, it's still Happy New Year. <laughs> yes, yes. You're welcome to White 54. So I'm giving you this time to introduce yourself. I know you are Sorango Tang. Eh? The last time you were here, you, you were in these social shows. And uh, it's been a while. Eh? It is uh, like three years. Oh, three years. Three years down the line. Yes, that was in 2018. Yes. Now tell people who you really are and why you are here. Uh, first of all, thank you for recognizing that this transition from the last time I was here to now. Yes. <laughs> I, I think that is some progress. Eh? Yes. So by name, I'm Byron Nauko Ginga, and I come from Migori County, and I look forward to succeeding Okotho Bado. So uh, I'm also glad to be back at Y254 after three years. Yes. Yes. Uh, your uh, social media handles, maybe, uh, uh, and maybe what you do now? Uh, I've been doing a lot of consultancy, political consultancy, mm. but uh, right now I'm doing it uh, for myself. Mm. Uh, that's because uh, right now, as from uh, February, mid-February, mm. I'll be purely uh, or totally in politics down mm. there, yes. We are coming back to that. Let's mm. know. You've not said your social media handles. Uh, so for those who are in Facebook, my name is Byron Nauko. Those are in Twitter at Ogingo Uko. On Instagram is Governor Byron Uko. Oh, yes. you've just become governor. Of in, course, in I Instagram. Have. I always believe whatever you 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 confess, you possess. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> we are also coming back to okay, that. Okay, okay. Justin, yes. Welcome to Eight Five Four. Thank you. You so are much. just in Misoka. Misoka. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Tell people everything that you think you need to know about you. Okay. Thank you so much for this opportunity. I'm Justin Nyangono Misoka, a senatorial aspirant, Nairobi County, this year. I've worked with the young people for very long. I'm the founder and president of Youth Appeal Kenya. This is a national NGO that advocates for youth inclusion in social, political, and economic spaces in the country. And also, I've served as the executive director of YALDA, Youth Alliance for Leadership and Development in Africa, headquartered in Gaborone, Botswana, whereby we bring young people and we connect them to mentors. And also at the same time, I represent young people at the African Union, at the APRM, African Peer Review Mechanism in, in South Africa. So we articulate Matters of young people. Okay. Yes. You have so many things, yes. and yet you so young. You told me you are 20? I'm 28 years. 28 years yes. old. You are not yet at third floor. You yes. still are <laughs> the second floor, yes. door number eight. <laughs> yeah, yet you've, you've done so many things. Yes. You've achieved so many things. Like you've, there are organizations you've founded, the organizations you've led, international organizations. True. But can you tell young people why, why you moved this first? One is commitment. And uh, I do have a passion for young people, mm. especially in serving and also articulating their issues. Because for a long time, young people have lagged behind in terms of representation. Mm. And we need the same young people to speak 
the language of young people. Mm. So this is what motivates me to mm. engage these young people and to serve and to work for them. Okay. Yes. Okay, that's nice. Let's come back to you, Byron. Yes. Uh, what have you achieved in life? Apart from you wanting to be a governor, why do you think uh, you have... What have you done that now has motivated you to vie for gubernatorial seat? Uh, Kaesha, I think uh, I'll correct you. It is not about what I've done. Uh -huh. It is what do I tend to do to change the society. Mm. Because maybe things I've done cannot guarantee or cannot equate me running for governorship. But I want to tell you categorically that when it comes to Megori politics, I have played a major role. What have you played? In Olobado first election, I was among the foot soldiers, the most vibrant youths oh. who played a role in his election mm -hmm. and even in, in his re-election. Did he reward you? It is not a matter of reward. Did he reward you? It is not yes a matter or of no? reward. No. Okay, now go on. So it is not a matter of reward because most of the time, uh, at that time for me, it was the better option mm. cons uh, as compared to other candidates. Mm. But later on, you realize that when you support somebody and you don't really merge into his ambitions or into his visions, you find your way out. Mm. And since I didn't see much of what I, was, what I believed in, I stepped out mm. as early as he was swear in into office. Mm. So uh, I realized, okay, fine, I can come back and do this. Mm. And that's why I'm presenting myself this time around so that I pick, I take it from where uh, he's leaving it and also to Im implement some of the things that we discussed at personal level that he never even attempted touching on. Mm. Yeah, so when you, back to your question, yeah, when you ask me about track records eh, that qualify somebody to office, we've seen, we've been electing these guys most of these uh, current leaders on track records. But once in office, these track records, they, they sublime. The personality changes because now the track records that we elected them to office with, we don't see them anymore. So uh, uh, as, uh, as a youth who believes in the power of the youth and who believes that a tra uh, transformation of the society doesn't belong to a certain category of people to lead us, I'm encouraging all youths that if 2022 is going to help us determine the destiny of this country from where we come from, from the world to the national level, then it is our pure mandate to ensure that we participate vibrantly and elect those who are going to uh, put us a step forward. Mm. Yeah. Uh, no, I am asking, Mishoka, why yeah. I'm asking about and in what he has done. All jobs in Kenya, almost all jobs, Experience. If you are applied, they need experience. Let yeah. me ask you, Kayesu. So. <laughs> I'm, I'm a student of politics. Yes. Yeah? Uh, that is what I studied, political science and public administration. And you realize whatever you're asking right now, experience and ABCD, so many times have the qualified, little experienced people been kicked out. And why this? Because even if my friend here is going for senatorial uh, uh, position, yes. to an extent, we don't know his capacity once in office. Mm. But most of the time, people lock others out of bias mm. and out of uh, political euphorias that at the end of the day doesn't substantiate whatever they thought they were. Look at Sonko, for mm. example. Mm. So can we give the little ones who are qualified first by education? Because I'm very sure he has gone under rigorous training to have the courage to step forward to vote for Senate. Mm. Same to me. Because you are not go I'm not, uh, if elected today as a governor, I'm not going to lead one man. Mm. I'm going to have a team of CEC members, mm. a team of directors, mm. a team of uh, uh, chief officers, mm. and even the assembly to counter check on me as the governor. Yes. So it is not about uh, experience. Because look at it, uh, Kayesu, from uh, what we've seen uh, even here in Nairobi. When people were looking at Miguna, he was seen as somebody who was, who was never contested for office mm -hmm. and who was, but later on we realized, we realized that he was the best person for that office mm -hmm. because those who he was competing with had some political history mm -hmm. that we thought they could go and deliver, mm -hmm. but later on we realized they were not the same people anymore. One, they were incompetent. Two, they were simple PR shows 
that could not really transform the lives of people in Nairobi. Okay. So when it comes to experience, let us look at it from a different dimension that so-and-so is coming to vie for Migori governorship, yes. or so-and-so is coming to replace Akaja in Nairobi. Mm. What vision do you, do you have for the people of Migori, or what vision do you have differently from what Sakaja gave, gave us as a package? Mm. And if it is like that, do you understand your role as a governor, or do you understand your role as a senate? So okay. from there, we see how we transition. Okay, I get you. Talk about this experience too. Yeah. It's the, the main thing where youths are being curtailed. Yes. Like if you want to deny a youth something or some mm. job, they will talk, do you have 30 years experience? experience. You are 28, mm. so 30 years experience means somebody who started working way back <laughs> before you were born. Yes. yes. Mm. So what I say, young people have experience. The experience that they don't have is the experience of stealing, but the experience of, you know, looting public funds, and so on. You, you know, getting to elective post, be it senator, be it governor, first, as a senator, you are, you are oriented by the Kenya School of Government. And uh, after that, we do have some training by the, the parliamentary service commission so at the end of the day all of you are at the same part yes you understand legislations mm. how laws are made you know oversight mm. and so on mm. so the issue of experience is just you know a lame excuse to curtail young mm. people from getting to to politics mm. and so i should not be asking you what you've done the way i asked Orangotan. so but i should not be asking you for achievement by the way do you have some achievements you as as just yes i've done a lot uh, <laughs> especially <laughs> for <laughs> young people yes. and, and i tell fellow uh, aspirants yes if you want to be elected you need to tell us something yes. about you yes. i was in university yes. i did this you know i will continue doing this you need to have a history of leadership and service to community yes personally we do have uh, an informal settlement in langata in langata called kuwinda we set there a community library and uh, at the moment we are serving over 500 students and pupils in the neighboring area in dandora we um, we engaged the young people in matters, you know, uh, respecting the rule of law. And, and, and we took the legal aid clinics in Dandora. So you've just done a lot. We, yes. we, we, we've had a number of them. Yes. Orang, you said you, when, when I asked you what you've done, you, you, you said you, you helped the governor get well, the no, seat. You see, yes. what, what I've done is, uh, <laughs> uh, I, I always like keeping things to to yourself, to, to yourself. not to myself, because yeah. at the end of the day, the public will also ask. <laughs> yeah. So uh, when it comes to Migori, uh, I've, I haven't done much for Migori, but I've done so much because in the last five years I've been in Nairobi, offering my consultancy services to Nairobi. But I think some of these policies I've been touching on, they trickle down to to Migori mm. in one way or another. Because uh, for some few, the last consultancy I did I was with Plan International, mm. and. Uh, it was about the girl child eh? mm -hmm. and uh, how to protect the girl child and ABCD. Yes. So it is a lot. But uh, particularly when it comes to Migori, Migori is highly dynamic when it comes to uh, politics and even right now that we are entering into an electioneering period. But particularly, I have a lot of achievements that uh, are really, for this show, they are not uh, like Me, to mention. But they are there. They are there. Okay. Why? My main reason for getting to this is to affirm that you have done something and say, therefore you can also do further. You can, you, these seats you are aspiring to occupy, you can deliver once given. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that can be evidence. Is there any other evidence that you can maybe deliver? That the, what can show the public that when you are given this seat, you, you see, are going to let deliver? Let me just interject you. Yes. My friend has done a lot for the, uh, the area he's yeah. coming from. Mm. Me, I'd started seeing the vision for Migori County when I was a student leader down there. 
Oh, you were a student leader, leader down there. Where? Down in, where? In Rongo. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I've been there. I've interacted with people there. I've seen what they want. I even did my internship at the office of the governor, and I saw how things were being done. Yeah. And I even tried to change some of the things, mm. they were, how they were being done. So if it is achievement, first, just getting into leadership itself, because leadership is a lot, yes. you can attest, it is a lot. It yeah. comes with a lot of uh, challenges, expectation. Mm. Yeah. And what I want to thank uh, uh, myself for mm. is all the Governor aspirants mm. whom I'm going to face, mm. in one way or another, I've worked with them. Mm. Because when I was a student leader, I worked with the uh, Honorable Dalmas when he was the area MP. Mm. At that time, I was a student leader. Mm. I worked with Governor Obado. I worked with the, Madame Denita Gatti. I worked with uh, uh, Pamelo Diamo. So all these people, I've worked with them. So, uh, but I don't see something tangible they are coming back with that mm. is really going to transform the lives of the people. Meaning you've learned from them. A lot. Yes. A lot. And there are things that bet the better thing you can do for them. Mm -hmm. uh, Justin, yes. uh, don't you think you are too young for this? No. No, you know, young people should not be, you know, the campaign merchants, you know, singing in political campaigns, and so on. They must come to the table of leadership. Yes. And in the table of leadership, you are not invited. You demand your space. You demand your space by coming out and contesting for the position that you want uh, to go for. And in Kenya, 60% of the population in this country are young people. But that is not reflected in positions of leadership, be it elective or appointive. Mm. So we need to get young people to come out to vie for, for various seats. Our, and also another thing, our future is at stake. A lot. Things so, are not going right, mm. right in this mm. country. Mm. Our economy is in its knees. Mm. And the people who are suffering most mm. are, are young people. A lot of young people are unemployed. And people who are going to solve these things, they're the same young people. Okay. Given the positions of leadership and governance, they're going to solve those issues. The, the question, a question that I want both of you to answer mm. yeah. about why <coughs> you chose to go for the biggest post, one of the biggest posts in the country. Why didn't you like try for MCA first? Okay, uh, so. Or you MCA first? Immediately mm -hmm. he finishes answering, you should also tell me. You know, I, I, like I know Migori County, it starts from somewhere called Opapo to as far as Sirare border, uh, border where Tanzania and Kenya meet. Yes. With how many words? 40 words. 40 words. Nairobi, how many words? 85 words. 85 words. Mm -hmm. Very big, very vast, very, very popular. Vast, yeah. Now, why are you guys going for this big, big post? Let me tell you, Kaesu. Like you understand now, every other person who is going to vie from MCA to governorship, even to Senate, will say, I'm going to transform your life. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do this for you. But the truth is, do they have resources to do that? So what I saw, if I want to change the level of the people, if I want to touch something, you go where there's resources. Mm -hmm. So that if you are given, you don't have the excuse. Oh, right? that's your driving force. <laughs> you want to control the resources of the you, you, you cannot transform life of anybody yeah. if you don't have resources or if you don't have the means to do so. Mm. So one thing why I'm going for governorship is to go and do what I think I can do when I have that resource. Because at the end of the day, no leadership position right now, as we speak, can we talk about it without a resource? That is the truth. Mm. If you look at what governors are doing, I think there are things that even you can do. Mm. And we can even do, as a young person who understands the issues affecting the youths, I can do it better. For example, the first schedule of the Constitution has highlighted functions of the county so clearly but you realize to date Miguri County we don't have even a newly constructed polytechnic we don't have any and mm. if you know because I know you also come from mm. down there uh, 
do you have you seen or do you know any that has been newly constructed whereby our youth can go there and acquire skills after acquiring skills we now they now absorb them into the market system where they can now utilize the skills they have acquired zero you have answered me so you is to control the resources so that you can help young people it is directly. not true i think you are misquoting me it is not to control the resources it is to utilize the resources effectively to transform the society because right now as we speak there's a lot that has been wasted in corruption there's a lot that cannot be accounted for mm. so if that is happening it is our duty as the youths to rise up and at least challenge corruption mm. and also offer an alternative leadership we don't just dilly dally with them by i see i see most of these youth are carried away yeah if somebody gives them a thousand and you go and heckle somebody at, what's that in the next few months or in the next few years how is that going to help you we are coming back to this heckling thing and okay. youth we are coming okay. back to it tell us why you are choosing this, yes. such a big state a big state the way you've, you've said the expectation outside here is for young people to go for MCA positions. Yes. And uh, we did have a joke uh, in social media that uh, you should not cause chaos in public because you can easily eat an MCA because there are very many of them. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the main reason that I'm going for Senate in particular, especially in Nairobi, things are at a mess. For the last five years, the County Assembly of Nairobi has been fighting. They have never made any legislation, any important legislation, affecting Nairobians. For the last 10 years, the County Government of Nairobi has been given 100 billion. But there is nothing to show off. And the work of the Senator is to oversight those funds. It's like, you know, the habitat in the county to bring the governor, the county assembly, and the speaker together at a table. Our two senators who have been there, they have failed in that responsibility. And devolution is very key in this country and Nairobi. Almost 90% of the role of government has been devolved, be it health, be it wasted, water, so on and so forth. And this is the work of the Senate, to ensure things are working in the county. And uh, that's what motivated me. You say, are you going to fix, as a Senator, how are you going to fix now the, the wrangles at the city hall? It's simple. You, you are like a mediator. Yes. You call the MCS. Mm. You tell them stop fighting. The speakers. You listen to them. And you, you know, you mediate with them and you ensure they are doing their role. The governor is doing his or her role. Mm. That is it. I Oops. think what, what, what has always affected us is the seniority or personality complex that if somebody is elected a senator, he sees himself senior to the governor yes. Yes. and ABCD. But I like the aspect he has brought of mediating because it is lacking in the current leadership whereby people can sit down, delegate and have a consensus about these issues. If that is done, then we have a running country. Okay. Yes. Uh, uh, I'm still on the vastness of, a country, of the county. Yes do at your ages mm. or do i say at our ages yeah, okay it's do okay. we still do we have that money to campaign in a vast geographical area mm. like migori or in such a populous area like <laughs> mm. yes how about campaign money? Well, maybe you can go okay. he, he, he wants you to start <laughs> yes <laughs> you know what i've realized when i came to direct uh, to politics, it's a very expensive affair. Mm. And the big boys have spoiled for us. Mm -hmm. They have given money right, left, and center. Like Nairobi with 17 constituencies, 85 
words. words. It's very vast. Very, very vast. And you know, you get young people who don't have, uh, you know, a, uh, a financial muscle to run an effective campaigns. And um, this blocks young people from getting to politics at the end of the day because they are afraid. And uh, I've engaged with people in the street and they are telling me one thing. For us to vote for you, because we know you are going and you are not deliver, because of what has happened, we need money. You buy us and uh, his story to normalize. Mm. <laughs> but at the moment, we want to change the narrative. Mm -hmm. Tell me how. By one, ensuring we sell our ideologies and also our manifesto to the electorates. Because at the end of the day, if somebody buys you, they are going to uh, recover that money for the five years. They will not serve you. They will not serve your interests at the end of the day. So we want uh, the electorates to vote for people based on their ideologies, based on their agenda. It's not uh, on their de debt of, of their, their pockets. pockets. You know, Justin, I've not, I've not talked about maybe voter bribery. Mm. I'm just talking about uh, first, maybe we'll get back to that. Mm. But I'm talking about uh, the vastness of the popularness, the, the population of a county. a county. There are so many people. And for you, for them to vote for you, you must like talk to mm. almost everyone. Yes, everyone. So you have to move a lot mm. and uh, meet so many people that you can maybe pay for those meetings on the halls, um, filling campaign vehicles and all that. Do young people know this is why what is that is what is curtailing most youth from life because they don't you. have this money to yeah. move about. Curtail. Do yes. Do, do do we have do you like you? Let's get to Justin. Mm. Ready to move and meet every voter in Nairobi and convince them to vote for us. Yes, I'm ready. Mm -hmm. Because when you get to politics financially ready. You you know? You have friends yes. who see the value. Oh, you have friends. And, and they come on board. Okay. They, they sponsor your, your campaigns. And also, you have some people that you have worked with, they volunteer in your campaigns. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Orang, tell me about okay, you. Okay, so you are castigating us. Ah, no, I'm not castigating <laughs> you. I'm just <laughs> but the making truth is, sure uh, that you are ready for this. Before, uh, before you step into a senior position like what the one I want or the one, you must plan and know your capacity. So if you ask me, am I prepared? Yes, I'm prepared. And to sometimes some of these dreams or some of these uh, position, not everything is about money. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you, have, you only have to tell the people but what matters is how do you tell the people this is what i want and what do you want why do you want it you understand so uh i like the aspect that you has touched on the volunteers and your friends and there are people me i've seen it down there there are people whom when you converse with them you have a conversation with them why you want this and why you think you're the best then they just come in and say okay fine for me i'll do this for you okay right now mm. it is not for tomorrow but right now so mm. This is it. Mm -hmm. So when sometimes money becomes the scary issue, then you can forgo a very important thing. Mm -hmm. And I also believe that uh, uh, if we peg ourselves to the fear of not having, then when will you have? Mm -hmm. Yes? You block yourself first because if I say, like, running for governor down there needs like 85 million, mm -hmm. I'm not worth that 85 million. So mm -hmm. when will I... If I don't start and talk to the people and I remain under the fear of not having the 85 million to run a well, good campaign, then I just automatically lock myself. When the truth is, if I move past the fear of not having, maybe I'm the one. You see? So I'm not going to... That is a, a, it is a good aspect to look at in politics, but it is also on the other side, not good enough to lock yourself without reaching out. I was t telling him about the need to meet every voter. You know the geographical vastness of the county. 
So, Kaesu, if even if you ask somebody running for MCA, they will tell you it is big and it is engaging and it is tiresome. Are you going to meet all the voters in Migori and the talk thing, to them personally? Or are... You can never talk to each and every person. But yes. the thing is, according even to the constitution, the popular vote, you will be announced the senator after gaining or gathering popular mm -hmm. votes. Mm -hmm. So, the thing is, for us to win, you must reach at least a majority. Mm. So in that majority, they will decide. Mm. But if, if you want to meet like Migori, I know right now we are close to 1.2 million vote, mm. voters. Eh? Mm. You can't meet like, that will be some. But we purpose that at least every electorate must know what is going to, whom is going to vote. Mm. To vote, yes. The, the, the main aim of this show, mm. Mr. Justin, is to convince or inspire a young person mm. out there mm. that whether they have resources or not, they can make it. Yeah. Okay, so, so can we, what, what, how can we convince, like, what can we tell the youth how to reach people maybe without necessarily going to see each and every person or organizing those vast rallies. Is there a way a young person can talk to a voter without now necessarily going to see them physically? May I believe it is. It is possible. Yes. Technology has made this point very possible. Like most people nowadays that are in social media, we find our mothers there. But again, if you go down there even in Nairobi, we have radio stations. Yes. Just talk to people. Mm. But again, uh, I once worked with uh, uh, a, doc a doctor called Dr. Nyawadi mm. in Plan International. He says that just start. Mm. Even if you feel unworthy, just start. Mm. You never know. Mm. Just start. And the moment I shared with this guy, this uh, Dr. Nyawadi, I realized that this, some of these things, it is as who block us from. And mm -hmm. that's why if you bring the aspect of money, mm -hmm. these people know, these people, these, uh, I call them cartels, eh? they know mm -hmm. that one thing, they fear talents, two, they fear competition. Yes. So the only thing that they and have, also they, fear young people. they also fear young yeah. people. Mm -hmm. So the only thing they have is money that they use, but once, he said it, once they go, they all pluck it back. Okay, okay, let's talk about parties. Mm -hmm. Which party are you vying on? Which party ticket? So at the moment I'm going independent. Independent? Yes. Which party are you going on? I'm still pursuing to vie with Jubilee. Oh, still? Yes. You are not settled there. Um, I, When I say I'm pursuing means I'm yes. a member of Jubilee party yes. and I'm looking forward to vie with Jubilee party. Yes. Now tell me, mm. I, I, you know, the popular party in Nyanza is ODM. Eh? Yes. You are not vying on ODM. I want to know the reason why you are not going with Kaisu. the popular party. <laughs> Kaisu, 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 da, 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 da. And you also be prepared to tell us why you are going independent <laughs> when there are hundreds and hundreds of, of, party of parties in Kenya. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think that is a fallacy. Uh, because uh, Migori, first of all, it is cosmopolitan. And uh, I want to tell you that uh, if you look, yes, it is an ODM, ODM dominated zone. Yes. But right now, things have changed mm. in terms of voter preference and even uh, party politics, because if you look right now, UDA is in Migori, the outgoing governor has his PDP, yes. and there is uh, a lot of parties, and I'm also joining the, the race with a jubilee ticket, mm. if God willing, I win the ticket, mm. the nomination slot, yeah? So I want to tell you that uh, if we remain under the yoke of ODM dominated, then if you go where there is that no ODM criteria whereby now you just join the party this other day and you want to vie for this, wait for so and so to do because he has been in the party for so long. Do, do you understand what I'm trying to talk mm -hmm, about? Mm -hmm. So, and that is also fear because if it is a domi ODM dominated zone, does it lock other people from participating because it is an ODM zone? Or why do I have a feeling that you just fear... Uh, jostling for the party ticket i don't fear anybody i want the odm guys to bring their candidate <laughs> the uda guys to bring their candidate and also i'm here from jubilee god really we we, we we go together okay let me bring it to another angle is it easy to get odm ticket in Missouri to buy governorship it is not easy i saw it twice when I was uh, with Governor, but uh -huh. I know what it takes to win an ODM ticket, yes. and I don't want that stress. Oh, so why didn't you just say that you don't want to 
because to, you see sometimes to, to it is embarrassing that competition. It, it is so embarrassing for as a young man <laughs> <laughs> it is embarrassing eh? and you are still young at, at, at age 29 I'm, I've started crying but I've, I've been denied the hey, so I don't want sure. to be I don't want to be a crying <laughs> child eh? yeah. just didn't tell us why you are, you are not going for any party first and foremost you know the way you said we are not afraid for any any competition mm -hmm. in in any party mm -hmm. we are more ready mm -hmm. and willing mm -hmm. as long as the nominations are free and fair mm -hmm. but most of our parties in this country mm -hmm. they don't have that openness and fairness like in kenya at the moment the parties that we have they are owned by some few individuals and cartels so if you go to that part you don't expect justice at the end of the day i've been a member of a political party we started it we, we invested our time our resources and our everything in that party in that particular party yes then in between we started seeing some some issues huh? about you know where do you come from you know being called by an executive director of a party and being asked you know we want to balance nairobi we want to give uh, the governor position to a kikuyu a deputy governor kamba a senator luya and a women rep we will give to kisi you know mm. and you get you are one of the candidates in the senatorial seat and, and they're being they're told saying they are going to give it to another tribe yes mm -hmm. we want to balance nairobi mm -hmm. <laughs> so you wonder what will happen if we go to nominations mm -hmm. the answer is obvious the nominations will be rigged okay until i was told by somebody authoritative in the party just in what we'll do just consider vying for an mca seat we will give you a ticket. <laughs> How did you feel? Intimidated? I, 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 didn't, feel, I didn't feel intimidated. I, 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 you know, you know our political parties are run by cartels. That's what you must know. People win nominations. Most of them do not win it fairly. Like this guy told you, that if you buy for MCA, he will give you, they will give you ticket, whether you win or not, something. Or not. So, so and I think you remember the scenario in 2017 Nairobi uh -huh. between um, Ruaraka MP, TJ Kajuang, and Elizabeth Ongoro. Ongoro won the ODM ticket in Ruaraka. Mm -hmm. And she was told, well, when you tafanya, go and look for another constituency. We are going to give you an no ODM ticket <laughs> in that new constituents. <laughs> I like, I like okay. what you brought. I like so, what you have brought. Uh, uh, yes. You see, even in, in, in Migori 2017, yes. Yes. we saw Dr. Chila Yako announcing himself that he's, he, has, he, he has the valid ODM certificate. Mm -hmm. On the other side, the governor was defending the seat also. Announcing himself. himself that he has the valid mm -hmm. uh, ODM ticket. Mm -hmm. In that confusion, tells you something about this party ticket and nomination mm -hmm. thing. So, in this case, just imagine somebody telling you to forfeit whatever you've started. Mm -hmm. Because me right now, I have not imagined being an MCA. Uh -huh. Then you want to coil me uh -huh. to go... To <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> Kayesu. Even and if it is... Our time is over. Our time, I think party politics is a whole thing that we need a whole hour to do. A whole hour. Yeah, time. because of the party democracies and all that, there's you cries see, all over about it. You see, the thing is, eh, just before you go, you leave it be. Those party officials and those acting in the interest of the party, we advise them to create an enabling environment for youths and also an enabling environment for newcomers. Mm. Because somebody can be an old dog, mm. but zero. Mm. And I can be a newcomer, mm. and I push the party agenda forward mm. better than the rest who have been there. Mm. So let them create an enabling environment for both the youths and those who are joining the party. Okay. Let's talk now about uh, girl child. Mm. 
girls are also youth. There are girls who are youths who are also very enthusiastic about politics. The perception out there is that ladies don't know much about politics. They don't want to get involved in it. In fact, during my introduction with a lady here, I was accused of like bringing the perception that girls and politics are not there. Mm -hmm. I've not seen girls coming out, your ages coming out to buy for big seats like you are buying mm -hmm. on. And uh, I want you to, from your own perspective, from what you see, maybe tell something to uh, our sisters pertaining politics and if uh, what they can do maybe to conquer it. They don't have the muscles that we have. They may not sometimes maybe have the money we have, maybe connections. But I want you to encourage them, encourage somebody like Michelle mm. to go for the presidency of Kenya or to go for the gubernatorial seat of, I think she comes from Kiambu. Kiambu. Yes. Uh, that's why I do have a problem with this post women rep. When it was introduced in 2013, our, our girls and our mothers rushed to the women rep positions. Like in Nairobi, before 2013, we used to have very strong women MPs. Dagoretti in Kasarani, Westlands, they were giving their male, uh, their male a lot of competitions. So, I want to tell our sisters, yes. despite the fact that in politics is a bit hard, mm -hmm. they face a lot of intimidation. Mm -hmm. I've been sharing with other uh, ladies. They told me in the party, they're being asked for sexual favors so that they can be given, you know, the, the tickets and so on. So, I want to encourage them wherever they are. Decisions, major decisions are made on the table of leadership. Despite the challenge, despite the obstacles, nothing is impossible. Yes. As long as you have the will, you have the determination, yes. and you have the passion, yes. you will overcome. So the message is go for it, my Go sister. for it. Yeah, go, go for, for it. it. Go, go for it. I don't want to give you time to no, talk about he has, girls. He has, he has, he has done finished it. it. He has done it. The message is home. Go for it. Go for those positions you don't know. I want your parting shot because um, our time is far much spent. This camera, just say your parting shot to the youth of this country and maybe to you are giving it a shot. One, as, f uh, as from today, IBC is conducting mass registration. I want to urge young people across the country, and especially in Nairobi, to come out in large numbers and register as a voter. Mm -hmm. It is in registering and in voting that we are going to have a revolution. And uh, a ballot revolution is very, very important because our stake as young people and also as a country is at stake. Good. Oral. Yes. Yeah, uh, just to summarize it all, I said most of what I wanted to say, mm -hmm. like uh, voter registration. Mm -hmm. You cannot fail to participate in an election and expect a better country. That is void. Number two, I want to speak to the youth of this country that we be very careful about uh, uh, those we are going to elect, elect into these various positions from the MCA to the presidency, because if this country continues this way, then we will have no country. We will have a failed state. And number three, to the people of Megori who are watching this show, I'm urging you and encouraging you that whatever tool you have, which I believe is the vote, I look forward that you will cast it wisely and will have the most vibrant county in Kenya. Good. There is a paradigm shift from the time when youths were being told, if I get, I will do this for you, I will do this for you. As you've seen it, youths are going for those positions. Like they are going to be the people who are going to occupy these seats. Because they are the youths, they understand themselves, they understand what youths go through in this country. So they are going to be a FUBU-like thing. FUBU means for us, by us, for us 
by us. So if you are a youth out there and you feel like you can be a leader, especially those who may be led like the two I have here, led in the campus, you can lead a country, you can lead a country, a whole country, you can lead a ward, you can lead a constituency, or you can lead a whole county. So if you feel like you can do it, Go for it. Those who can try, those who, those who, like you cannot do it before you try. So give it a shot. Be you a lady or be you a man. Don't darrow your youth. This has been Youth and Politics. And uh, next, uh, Michelle is coming back with the talk of the day about youths and January. Thank you. It was nice.